We are given the vertices of a triangle and we are asked to find the equation of the line joining A to the midpoint of BC and to calculate the angle BAC. The first thing is to draw a rough sketch of the triangle. This one is apparently not drawn to scale, but it is good enough for our demonstration. In fact, most of the time graphs provided in exercises are not drawn to scale which means you should never measure any angle using a protractor, or else you will get very inaccurate results. Next, let's call this midpoint of BC, point D. The X and Y coordinates of D can be easily obtained by averaging the X and Y coordinates of B and C. So for X, we have 4 plus 3 divided by 2, and for Y, we have 6 plus 3 divided by 2. In order to find the equation of the line joining A and D, we can apply what's called the two-point form of a straight line. Basically, if we know two points on a straight line, namely x1, y1, and x2, y2, we can express the equation of the straight line in such a way. Here, m represents the gradient of the straight line. We can just refer to point A as the first point and point D as the second. It does not matter which one is which, as long as you are consistent with their coordinates. So we can plug numbers into the expression of the two-point form. And once again, m is the slope of the line. So we take the difference in y and divide it by the difference in x. Rearranging this gives us this equation. So this takes care of part one of the exercise. For part two, we have to determine the angle BAC as indicated on the right. There's this very convenient thing called the law of cosines, which tells us what an angle is as long as we know the size of a triangle. Here, gamma represents the angle between side A and side B, and ABC are the three sides of the triangle, as indicated on the right. It is very easy to determine A, B, and C, because we already know the coordinates of the points. The distance between any two of them can be calculated using this expression. So to obtain A, we sum up the squares of the difference between X and Y respectively, between point A and point B. So for X, it is 1 minus 3 squared, and for Y, it is 5 minus 3 squared. This gives us 8 for A squared. We can do the same thing for the remaining sides. For b squared, we get 10, and for c squared, we also have 10. Now we can apply the law of cosines. Simply plug in the numbers. We already have a squared, b squared, and c squared. The only unknown quantity is the angle itself. Rearranging the expression, we get that the cosine of bac equals square root of 8 over 2 times square root of 10. We can take the inverse of the cosine on the calculator to get that BAC is roughly 63.4 degrees.